Hip, hi YouTube, um, subscribers, others. Little uh, info about winter cycling. Um, there's a few things to know about winter cycling. First of all, it's not too cold to cycle. When you cycle, you're usually warm. Like usually I have um, warmer clothes in my backpack for later when I'm not cycling anymore. So winter cycling is not cold. Just protect your face, protect your feet, protect your fingers. Uh, it's just a matter of clothing. It's not a matter of like, it's too cold. Um, so even at minus 35, it's possible to cycle. Uh, you just need to cover up. Um, then another kind of myth is like, in winter you need spikes on your tires. Well, spikes really do help. Um, the thing is, I've never tried. <laughs> So I've been now cycling in winters for 14 years uh, with snows like this all year round. And yeah, never really needed spikes. Um, should also say that I have fallen a couple of times. There's a bus coming. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's, that's another thing. Um, prepare and don't mind to fall. Like, I mean, it's really like, I've never hurt myself at all when falling in winter. Usually when you fall, you slide a bit and it's a bit softer. So, um, also the speeds, like there's a thing like, yes, you need a bit more time for the winter cycling, but that's also good because winter is the slower time of the year. So it's, it's good to do everything a bit slower. And yeah, that being said, uh, it's a great joy. Anything else about the bike? Um, yeah, keep it, uh, keep it lubricated, keep your brakes working. Um, tire pressure can be a little bit softer than on road. And there is weather where actually cycling winter is faster than cycling without snow. So there is a weather where there is this, I don't know, like mystical layer of very little bit snow on top of hard uh, ice. And that's like, if the temperature is right, that's so fast. I don't know, it's like almost like lubricating or something. So it can be really fast to cycle in winter. And yeah, I just enjoy it and recommend it and uh, be visible. Like I have this high vis vest, uh, I have light on my helmet and reflectors. Um, so be, be visible. Um, dress in contrasting colors, bright when there's no snow. And um, yeah, the dark can be seen when there is snow. So. And yeah, lights and reflectors really make a big difference. Um, and also, like what I do is really I take my space. So you see on a road like this, there's no bicycle track here. You have to find a route that works. Um, there are slopes in the road, so there might be a bit of an angle. So just uh, take the space that you need. The cars will see you and they will slow down. And um, that's not my problem that they have to go by car. If they have to go by car or some other vehicle uh, that uses fossil fuel as well, it's their bad. Um, so I will just take my space, I will cycle where it's possible. Sometimes that's in the middle of the road where the road is the highest, sometimes it's on the side. I make space for the cars, I don't slow them down unnecessarily, but like I think that me cycling on a safe surface is more important than me cycling somewhere where I'm just not hit by a car and where it's like likely that I fall because there is, uh, um, you know, it's like the ditch of the road or something. So just take your space, be visible, take your time, be slow, um, take a bit more time for your journeys and yeah, just enjoy the landscape, see the tracks of, of other animals in the snow. And, and I mean, like, it's just so beautiful. Have a look around. Yeah, cycling into town now. So take good care. Hello.